Hello, welcome back. Last time I started a new game, and I'm trying to get all of the trees and keep the seeds instead of eating them. So far I have found one tree that I didn't already know about. And reviewing what I'd done before... Oh yeah, I also found a new ability. I want to get all of those too. Uh, reviewing what I had done before, there is another tree very near here that I did find. I don't have an exact number of how many are in the game. I don't have any particularly good guesses, since I know there are two in this area. Um, I'm pretty sure there's just the one in the forest, and you don't get a choice about whether to eat that seed or not. Right, so I think the path that leads to the tree is over here. No, it's not. Not that way. Okay, right, I need to go another way. Mm -hmm. It's up above, but I need to go farther out of my way to get there. Right? It doesn't help me to land on that little thing, does it? Uh, no, not directly. Okay. Ouch. So there's a town over here somewhere where I last time learned a whole lot of skills. It is important to get a lot of, uh, money, that stuff. <sighs> so I can actually afford all those skills. Actually, I should do that now because they actually helped really... What? Oh, I didn't touch that heart. I thought I had. Uh, those skills actually helped a whole lot with combat survival. So if I do that before I go for this tree, I'll have a little bit of an easier time with it. I have 828 money. That should be enough for what I need, I hope. Ouch. Problem with spikes placed on surfaces that I'm climbing is that it's very easy to jump up into them. So I, I don't I should not feel too invincible with this upgrade that I got because I'm really not I'm actually having a lot of trouble here. Uh, okay, thank you. So I'm still not sure what was the point at which I go backward to get to the tree. Was it up above here? There's stuff down below I need to investigate. I know. So yeah, basically this is just go forward, investigate all the things you didn't see before. So, hang on. Uh, I'm going to come back to the screen in a moment. What's to the right? This is not town yet. This is where I would turn around to get to the tree. Okay. Okay. So, um... If I go down here... This is risky. Okay. That's what happened. Alright, the tree path loops around to town anyway, so I'm going to go here first. This is a hazardous place to be. So I do wonder if I missed anything in town. Last time I was there, I had the impression that I might have. So this is how you would normally come in here. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm going to assume this is pretty much the same. I'll talk to everybody and see if I missed any that I notice in the way so everything tries to kill you. And I'll see you once I've done some shopping. Incidentally, if I talk to this guy again, he says, How are you liking them guns? What the hell is a gun? <laughs> there are no guns in this world, apparently. Alright, there wasn't as much to see here as I thought I remembered. I did get the upgrade from the muscle guy, but that was the only thing it seemed like I could buy right now. Now, I am seeing something mildly suspicious down here. I've just saved. I... This is not the way in which this game usually hides its secrets, but I do want to check that spot that was just below me there. And see if it's anything. I cannot leave this screen. Whoa. I can get stuck over here, though. Oh boy, this is not good. <laughs> so wherever Black Feather is, I don't really have control over it. I'm pressing buttons. I can swing my sword. I'm somewhere, but I'm nowhere. Oh, I'm under the world. Oh dear, I found another seam in the world. Uh, let's hope nothing horrible happens from what I'm doing here, because I'm just walking under... Oh, wait, no, I'm falling. I can glide. Okay, so I'm falling. Pressing the button makes me go faster. <laughs> okay, well, good thing I just saved, because I'm going to have to restore here. That's weird. It's funny there's no, there's no way to transition there. There's no invisible wall. Well, this is going to be the consequence of exploring in a game like this, and unfortunately I can't quit to the title screen or 
load a game, so I have to actually quit the game fully. Alright, that's fine. That's why I saved first. Alright. So, um... I don't remember exactly where was the place I came down from the tree path. I want to go back there, and I still I still remember that I needed to... Okay, yeah, the tree is up there, right above me. Yeah. Um, however... There is no reason not to go forward here, because I need to come back to town for Spotty anyway. Um, he needs to know that I can't just walk in the front gate, so I guess I'll go forward first. Where was the fireball guy? I had fireballs... I think he was actually up above in the tree path. Ouch. I had fireballs right around this time. Yeah, tree path is up there. I can tell by the terrain that looks different, I think. Ouch. Those spikes right there are extremely well placed. Alright, you. Now, really? Hard to predict. See, now that I have this, I'm pretty much never using that ability. It might need to do more damage. I think it actually does, but... This other one is just easier to use. Uh, okay, so what was down here? Carefully, carefully. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that is where the... This thing is. I need Spotty's key for that. I wonder if seeing that door is enough, or if I need to actually go to the front gate. I guess I'll go to the front gate to check. Uh, wait, what? Wow, that's awkward. <laughs> but I guess that's how I'm supposed to do that. Isn't the front gate, like, right here? It wasn't too much farther than this, was it? Yeah, there's the gate. Well, this is the front gate of the virus. It doesn't look like there's any way through. I don't know what Spotty expected. Uh-huh. I should have come here before talking to him to see what Blackfeather said. Oh well, missed opportunity. I'll do it in my third playthrough. Because I am going to have to do another one of these, because I want to see... I saw a chest up there. I want to see what it's like if I eat all the red seeds. Oh right, those chests. I get those from the other side. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so next playthrough, come here before talking to Spotty. Alright, I'm going to go ba back and take the tree path. Okay, this looks just suspicious enough to me that maybe I could... Whoa. That's not how I expected that to work. I can wedge myself. Only the bottom spike is real. The top one is fake, and I can... I can do this. <laughs> and get up above the world again that way. Hey, I'm up at top. <laughs> this is silly. Can I cheat my way into the tree path? Yes, I can. <laughs> I found a back way in. <laughs> okay. So I can skip straight to the tree. Alright, so speedrunners take note, I guess. This is the quick route to get to this, if you want to. Give me the seed. Wow. Okay. Uh, hold onto it. Choose to hold onto the seed. It might come in handy later. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about eating it later. Um, I don't feel right about taking this path backward. So I will do that later, coming at it from the other side, because there was still stuff I needed to explore back there. Okay, but that is how you sequence break to get in there early, if you wish. This would be a good game for speedrunning, I'll bet. Okay, I think I remember now. I'm up here on the normal path to the tree, and inside this chest is a key. The key opens the door back earlier that I saw. That's also a checkpoint. Um, and I think that's where I learned the fire magic. So I need to go all the way back there and have somebody teach me how to do that. Uh, I guess that's what makes sense. Uh, it's not really quicker either way. So I guess I'll reach the natural end of this path, then go back down to the door. Which actually, isn't the door just like right below me here? There's a chest there. I do not recall ever having gotten that chest. Can I go over this? No. I don't think so. Because, yeah, this leads to the tree. This is not where I'm ready to go yet, even though I've already kind of been here. Uh, hang on. Investigation needs to happen.
I guess I am going here then. Fine. I can do that. Um, how short is this path? Okay, so that doesn't directly kill me. It's not too good for my health, though. Hmm. See, like, I want to get up here... Hmm. I remember I was trying to do some stuff with birds to get high enough to catch onto that ledge. Or, like, get up here? Is there really just no way... That doesn't take me any higher. Have I never been on that log? <clears throat> is there a way to get there from up above? Like, this is bothering me. I feel like there's something up there. Maybe. It's hard to say with this game. Like, I tried to use the birds to boost up there last time, and that didn't really get me anywhere. So, I don't know. Alright, well, let me look around and see if there's a way around. Aha! Okay, so I've gone kind of forward. This is like halfway to the tree, maybe a little more. That's where this guy is. You're actually the guy who teaches me fireball, aren't you? Yeah! Okay, fireballs. 250. Great. I like burning things with fire. I hope you feel the same way. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I still need to investigate that left wall a little bit more, because I feel like there's suspicious things about it. Like, especially the fact that there was a log up there that I couldn't jump onto. I really want to check that in more detail and see if there's a way up there. Okay, so the tree is, like, just over here, isn't it? Like, basically right above me? No, it's on another screen. I can't get on that ledge. Oh, hey, you're not friendly. Okay, so hang on. There's more to this area than I remembered. Like, these... Side paths for trees are way more extensive than I keep expecting them to be for some reason. This one and the other one I found in this zone both had slightly different scenery and forest music. The one in the caves did not. It was just a tree in a random place in the middle of the cave. Yeah, like, look at this ground. That doesn't show up anywhere else in the arid wastes. At least I don't think so. Yeah, it's like only up here. This is this is mountain terrain. Or forest terrain, whatever. And man, there are a lot of dudes here. I forgot this was this way. Can't stomp while swinging sword. Good to know. Should have figured. Yeah, this is where all the birds are coming from. This is where the tree is. Okay. So I just want to check the screen, then I'll retrace my steps and get all the stuff I missed back there. That's the rock the birds come from, there's the tree. Okay, so, if I go left as far as I can, I do hit a place, ouch. I'm not certain that I have been there before. This might be new, it might be old. Hard to say. It's kind of dangerous, in any case. Are you a magic guy? No, it's only the royal guards who look like that that can use magic, or the bird hunters. Wah! So, chest here, and there was that chest back at the beginning of this zone that I wasn't sure how to get to. So I presume I can't go over this. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, no, I can. Does that get me anywhere? Mm, not really. I can't... I couldn't glide far enough to get over that. Okay, so if I just go backwards, I can't get up to... Th ah, that ledge up there. Whoa. Thank you for the heart. There's nothing up here. Whoa, there's spikes there. Why are the spikes there? Also, I died? Really? That surprises me. Also, this means I don't have that chest anymore. Hmm. Yep, chest's still there. Alright, so kind of back to where I was. Flame guy is up here. Those spikes that I hit last time are just down there. That's weird. I wonder why those are positioned where they are. It's mildly suspicious, but I don't see how, how there could be anything hidden there. The place I was most suspicious of... ...was back here. Once again, a much longer way than I keep expecting. Yeah, it must have been on this screen or the next one. 
It's hard to keep track. Ouch. So there's a log with a flower on it. How would I get onto that? Easily. That's not the suspicious one. So I got that flower. I'm supposed to be going the other direction here. I can't go above this. That's all solid. Yeah, that log that has the dog on it. I guess it's just a log for a dog, not for a bird. Because I cannot find any way so, ouch, so far to, to get up there. Other than maybe bouncing on another one of those flying birds. If I did that, it would seemingly give me enough height to get up there. I'm going to try a little harder to get up to that wall, because I want to climb it and see if I can do anything up there. Aha! That is possible! Is there anything up here? It looks like... Man, it really looks like there is. Didn't I do this before, now that I think about it? This feels familiar. <laughs> okay, well, it is possible to bounce on a bird. Confirmed. Perhaps I confirmed that before. But there's nothing. Except, like, the terrain is built so that I can go up here and... You know, it doesn't seem broken like some of the other out-of-the-way places I've found in the world, so that's weird. Okay, well, I guess I investigated that as much as I reasonably can. So, back to the house that's locked, so I can get whatever was in it. Alright, so the path to the tree is, like, right above me. I just jumped off. The way to that chest over there appears to be going up this way. So I probably have actually gotten it before, I just have to... The trick is to bypass these three spikes? No. What is the trick? I can't go over here. Can I go over that bit of rock there somehow? Because, like, there's some way to get above that, clearly. On these logs? I'm very confused right now. Uh, so it must be up there. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, this seems... No? This doesn't make sense? Have I not gone here? I guess not. Well, this is the chest. Huh. Okay. I guess it was just an out-of-the-way place. I didn't have to come on my way here. Ouch. So to remind myself, inside the locked house was this guy who does what? Uh, something interesting. Powerful sword technique. The launcher. Yes. Yes. Now you can use the aerial upward slash as a way to get more hits in. Okay, I understand. So somebody in town told me the third hit in the Western Birdman fighting style can be a slash uppercut. So what he just did... I tested this earlier. No? I don't understand what this guy did. As a way to get more hits in. I was able to... I was able to do this before talking to him. I wish I understood what that upgrade did. Maybe it allows the uppercut thing to hit multiple times somehow? Huh. I don't know. Alright, I've been this way already. Uh, time to go to the Spire City trap, I believe, and get kicked down to the caves. Okay. Alright, this door just opens it. Okay, cool. So this is just a short sequence, then I get trapped and dropped into the caves, as I recall. A couple of slightly scary spike jumps here. Not too much else going on. I'm fairly certain I found everything in the arid wastes. Ouch. So I think I'm done there and can proceed to the next place, which is here. Uh-huh. Flip the switch. Alright, now I'm down in the caves. In a really awkward... Whoa, I was kind of like stuck in the wall there. I recall a room early on... Ooh, I think I just figured out where another secret is, possibly. So now that I'm seeing this... Uh, okay, so there's all this stuff here, filled with lava. He's friendly, he can give me... Wait. 
No, he's not. Hmm. Fascinating. I think something might happen here after I hit the lever that lowers the lava for... Uh, oh, right, that's a little bit broken. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to go above that. Uh, lowers the lava for... What's his name? Down there. Actually, I don't know that he has a name. The guy who escapes with me and then gets killed by the king. So I'm going to come all the way back here after I hit that lever, which I didn't do last time. Alright, this guy here. Does he have a name? If he does, he doesn't tell me. Okay. Uh, you give me a key, though, right? Switch under Giannis' room. Lowers the lava level there. Uh-huh. Here's the key. Great. How'd you get down here, anyway? I was trying to get to the Spire City, but the King's goons tricked me. For real? Hell, if you survive, this might be faster anyway. Just take that key I gave you back to Yanis's room and lower the lava levels. Okay. Okay, and he says the same thing. So, right, uh, my theory right now is that that would lower not only the lava right here, but also the stuff way back over to the left. And I think that might reveal a new secret passage. And or Mr. I'm perfecting my new psychic power might have figured it out by the time I get back there. Maybe it will teach me or something. I don't know. I'll find out. Alright, there's the lever. Lever pulled. And then the tree path is up and to the left. Alright, there's the tree. So this will be my th third seed, I believe. Or fourth. One, two, three. I don't remember. I think this is the third. Oh, and that was the last one. I just got the achievement for finding all the seeds. Oh, okay. Hmm, so how much could actually be hidden over on the left? I figured there would be at least one in the Spire City that I missed. Okay, so there were actually only three seeds that can be found. Alright, well, that puts my mind at ease a little bit. Though it is slightly disappointing because I wanted to find more new stuff. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Alright, so I want to go all the way back to the beginning and see if the lava level has lowered there at all. Or if Mr. Psychic Man has figured himself out at all. So before I go right, I'm going to go left. Okay, the way I came in was all the way up there, right? Well, a little higher. Uh, the guy I want to talk to is also up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. So on my way here, I didn't see any lava that had been lowered. This looks like it's the same level, so I don't think the lever affected anything here. You're still alive, huh? Well, the new technique is finished. It's called the Reflector. You can use it to redirect energy blasts and also as a quick close-range attack. If you plan on fighting more of our father's goons, I guarantee it'll be useful. I'll teach it to you as long as you give me gold. How about it? Okay, 300 gold. Pressing V causes quick attack. Reflects projectiles. Okay, now hit V to try it out. Any energy coming at you will just bounce back. Okay, not that button. Whoa! Okay, cool. So I get some sort of reflection shield thing. Neat! It's a whole new ability there. Thanks! Our new technique is going to revolutionize violence. Is that really something you want to do? <laughs> uh, I guess that's in character. Alright, so back over to the right to deal with uh, nameless guy who follows me and all that stuff. I want to try this on somebody like that guy on the wall, maybe? Well, here, let's try it here. So three of those. One, two, two. Two of those to kill one of those. One, two two, three. Okay, so it looks like it does about the same damage as a sword swing. It's just shorter range. Okay, that makes sense. So give me a chance to reflect your stuff. Oh, cool! I wonder if it works on the king's giant energy blasts. That'd be neat. I guess I'll find out once I fight him. It works on boulders. <laughs> Here, I, I made that happen once. I can do it again. Uh, that's actually pretty hard to do in this position. I think the worst, worst boulder guy to do that on. Here, how about you? I made it happen once. I totally made that happen once. There we go. I can reflect his boulder. <laughs> uh, that's fun. So I don't think I saw this bit of dialogue before. The lava has descended to the east. Now there is a path which leads to the back of the Spire City. I don't know why I didn't talk to Giannis on my way out. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. Oh, right. And I have to go through all these hazards before I get to 
the end of that. Oh boy. Alright, Mr. Dude is gone already. I wonder why he doesn't... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out his motivations. Why did he need me in order to get out? Was he unable to pull the lever himself? Hard to say. Okay, right, I have to go down here. I don't really remember how long this path was. It's probably fairly lengthy. Whoa! Uh, I can't skip over that. Yeah, I remember this vaguely. Ouch. I encounter him a few way a few times along the way and he just disappears. Okay, so this That looks suspicious. Uh, that's the only way to get that high, and that doesn't give me anywhere. Right, yeah. This game does a very good job at blocking off uh, paths that I'm not supposed to get to, except in the few places where I was able to break it. Alright, so I forgot about the Hector fight. Um, so caves went by reasonably quickly. They're kind of my least favorite zone in the game. Um, they're okay, it's just all the others are so much more outstanding than they are. All right, so just fight Hector, then a climb to the exit, I think. Mm-hmm, he doesn't have much to say. <laughs> Other than punctuation. How did I fight him last time? So I've learned a little bit more about this upward slash. I, there's a there's a pattern I can follow. Okay, right, he, if he does that, he can... Right, okay, so when he starts running, he's going to charge, and he does that, he's going to jump over me. Seems like doing an uppercut after I do one of these combos... Oh wow, he's dead already. <laughs> Let's me get right back into the combo much more easily. I don't know, it seems like it's different when I'm actually hitting something than when I'm just testing it on my own, but I'm not sure, it's hard to tell. Alright, here's the two flowers next to each other for no good reason. What a fight, you're strangely capable... Wait a second, this didn't happen before. It's weird how you keep getting past me without being seen. Well, let me explain. I... Oh no, look out behind you! Mine? Hey! Oh! Fascinating! Okay! Well, this has already completely changed the story. He has taken one of my seeds. Ah, I think I know exactly what this is going to lead to. Okay, so when I get to the top of the Spire City, interesting things are going to happen. Ouch. Uh, okay. So it's not like I have a status display or anything to tell me how many seeds I have, but I had three, now he took one, so I have only two left. I wonder if he does that if I have any at all, because last time I just ate all of them right away. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's going to change what happens when the king kills him. Either the king won't kill him, or he'll use the red seed in order to make the king stronger, or he'll use the red seed and become the hidden boss that I've heard about. I suspect one of those things will happen. He's still there. Okay, so he is much more clearly antagonistic earlier in the game than if I am on the eat every seed path. Although I don't know if that would be the same if I had actually found all the seeds. How did this work? Like that. And it's different now because I don't have fast glide. I'm not finding myself missing it tremendously. It'd be nice to have, but I'm getting by just fine with, with my abilities the way they are. Like, the red seed abilities were not extremely major. They were just minor mobility conveniences more than anything, is what it seemed to be. Although I don't know what the third one is. I only saw the first two. Or perhaps the second or the third, because I missed the first tree I could have gotten to. I don't know if it's specific seeds give specific powers, or if you just get them in order, or what. Anyway, uh, exit is, like, just up here. Oh, yeah, here it is. So does he do anything here, or does he wait until he sees the king? I think it's he waits until he sees the king. Clear the way for me. Kill the birdman. Okay, and then this encounter. Right, okay, so this will be fun. Shouldn't be... Well, it'll be a little bit different. I'm actually better equipped now than I was then because I have the key ability. Um, 
and also a lot more fighting experience. So I just know how to handle the combat in this game a lot better than I did before. It's funny how much trouble it gave me. Just, once I had done it for a while, everything just feels so much more smooth and natural. Like, it felt good at the first, I just couldn't do it super well. <laughs> and I have, right, I have this. Oh. Wow, so that kind of, mm, Until they do that, that kind of trivializes things. Alright, so if I find myself at a distance, getting magic shot at me, I have a defense against that now. <laughs> Neat. Alright, you, come down here. There you are. Oh, shoot, I pressed the reflect button, but it didn't work. Ah! I guess I have to... If I press it down while I'm taking a hit, it won't apply, and then if I keep holding it, it still won't. Yeah, anyway. Ouch. Okay. No wonder that guy seemed fishy. And there's no going that way. That's right. Okay, so this just takes me to Spire City. Bottom of it, at least. Where is the nearest flower? There's a flower here, right? There's a flower. Alright, cool. So, I'll see you next time for the rest of this, and hopefully we'll get to see what the alternate ending is for collecting all the seeds. I hope it doesn't matter that I had one stolen from me. I think that's just part of the story. But yeah, I guess we'll find out. I'll see you then.